today's video is going to be awesome. Nothing shy of awesome. I got to tell you guys, I'm very excited about this. So life gave me lemon and the lemon was this guy died and they needed to reorient my coil. Um, I'm building this mini mat for somebody that I know and I needed to make sure the coils are all pointing in the same direction, which is something we all know very well by now. And I'm using my compass to get that done. And then out of nowhere, I'm like, oh, this would make an awesome video to show people how to uh, make a destructive field versus constructive field. And also a really good visual effect for uh, Judy Cycle. Yes, our old friend Judy Cycle. You'll see what I mean in a second. So I'll get the camera closer, we'll move stuff around and I'm going to explain to you exactly what I want to share. I'm like super pumped to share this with you guys. This is going to be good. Hey, let's start with the setup. Setup is the ZKPP, the ZKPP2. That's the one that come without the case. A Mac, um, a compass. Uh, the mat, as you can see, the red, the green, the red, the green tape is uh, indicating the coils have been organized. A power supply set at 19.5 volts, the same way as our power supply we use all the time. Okay, the idea is, uh, if you look here at the needle of the compass, when I turn it on, It touches the bottom of the compass bezel. Okay, so right now we have this. Everything is good. The setup is 1 hertz, 32% duty cycle. I took the 32% duty cycle just at random. Now you can see the needle moving. Okay, I'm going to take one coil and I'm going to flip it. So basically the magnetic field of this coil will destruct the other field around. Watch what happened to the magnet. Okay, so I flipped that coil. As you can see, the green tape is no longer visible. All the other ones are visible. And look at the magnet. Okay, so I'm gonna flip it back the other way. So as you can see, all the coils in this case here, they're all point in the same direction. The north is up on all of them. And look at the way the field goes, right? It goes up like that, and then we're shunting it so it has no choice but going up like this. So if this is your body right here, you're getting a nice even field all the way across. On the other end, when you have a coil that is backwards compared to the other one, you're shunting it again, but you're shunting it this way. So you can see why the magnet, which I mean the compass, which is over there, did not react all of a sudden because you have a dead spot. So that's why I always tell you guys, you gotta put your coils in the right direction, all of them. Okay, pretty excited about this part. Take 25. I don't know how many takes it's been. Uh, <laughs> so analogy time, duty cycle, and why it's overkill in many instances. All right, we're gonna do an analogy. Analogy is a gross comparison between two events, okay? Just so we can understand it better. We're gonna, we're gonna represent physically something that's hard to visualize. The bezel of the compass will be uh, representing a cell in your body. The needle inside the compass will represent when the energy transfer happens between the PMF and your cell, right? So when the needle goes and touches the bottom of the bezel, that instant touch, as soon as it touches, that's when the energy gets transferred. It doesn't matter how long it stays down and how long it stays up. It's just that touch. When it touch, that's when the energy gets transferred. No more, no less, okay? That's basically induction. A change in magnetic field allows the energy to be transferred. When the magnetic field no longer changes, there's no more energy transfer. That's why magnets have to move to induce something. That's why we use a water spinning a wheel. 
and then you got magnet on it and then the magnet turns around copper wire so you make a magnetic field changes and you create electricity as soon as the water stops moving or the wheel stops spinning you're no longer making electricity okay so the goal for this is when the needle touches down we get an energy transfer now what we want we want to know what is the lowest duty cycle we need to be at for that perfect moment of the touch and then release happens okay so right now i'm at 15 percent duty cycle that means 15 percent of the time 15 percent of one second um, we got the coil on you can see and here the needle is is moving and hitting the bottom of the bezel of the compass okay so 15 percent duty cycle does it about 14 still good 13 12 11 10 okay at 10 there's no longer enough time for the magnetic field to pull the needle down to the bezel. So that means the magnetic field doesn't stay on long enough to counteract um, the laws of Newton, the first law of Newton. That's an object in motion tend to stay in motion and at rest tend to stay at rest unless an external force comes and disrupt that. Okay, so how does that mean? What does that mean for your body now? All right. Well, this is the amazing thing. For the induction to happen in your body, you need like a millionth of a second. Like it's super, super fast, like fast, fast, okay? So 1% duty cycle is still 10 times longer than you need. So we cannot bring the duty cycle low enough on the equipment we're using in our lab, um, like the ZK or the Nexion, to micro pulse it to the point where it would become useless. Just want to make a quick, uh, quick interjection to this video there. This is what it looks like when you take that whole purple pink thing and then the coils and you put it in there. It's just a cushion, a, a cover for a cushion. Works really well. I attach it with this cord to the ZK and the tiny little box and a power supply. But anyway, if you want one of those, hit me up. Um, I had to make a couple, three in the last uh, couple weeks, so I got a couple say, sticking around doing nothing right now, so it'll be a good time if you guys want to try this. Also, if you want to build one, I got all the plans and everything on the Patreon. Just come on over there and just get that done. And yes, you can do it. Believe in yourself, you can do it. And if you don't think you can do it and you want to support me, just pick one of them little guys for me or Big Matt and just send me an email. We'll chat. If we're a good fit, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with something.